everybody. Welcome back to Creature Corner. My name is Jared Kraszewski. I am a creature and character concept artist, instructor at Noman School of Visual Effects, and I've worked on movies like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and a little movie coming up called Godzilla X Call. A little, a little thing. Huh? Ah, look at that. Ah, look at that. Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's that right there. That's not a spoiler. It's on the toy. It's not nice. A, it's on the toy. Anyway. Church Corner is brought to you by Dell. Shout that out as well. Huh? Uh, that's not all I got. Uh, ready, ready, ready. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those guys. Uh, uh, one, two, three. Ah. Anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, you've been, uh, yeah, I too have been a fan of Godzilla for a very, very long time. So, um, seeing this project come to fruition felt like a full circle moment. Anyway, we're due for a new trailer uh, sometime, eventually. Anyway, uh, Matt Miller cannot be here tonight. He his computer is still going. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Still like, oh. yeah, it's still going like. Um, so it's exploding. It's exploding, uh, and Matt now has only one eye. It exploded. And his eye out um i don't know if we're gonna get his eye back so we are we are patching him uh together anyway we're on mythos part four <laughs> segway we're on mythos part part four uh i've been working on this uh two-faced minotaur uh sculpt and then um this has been also my demo project for in class so like showing students how i like to build things in zbrush in zed uh anyway so today i'm going to i've got a few things i'm going to do i'd like to get done tonight and that's uh to work on some fingers and hands i got to finish up those hooves down there um do a little bit more work on the face but the anatomy is pretty much like done. I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Um, post that, we'll we'll um, we'll start adding like uh, details, uh, you know, skin details, uh, pumps, whatever. Um, I still have that crocodile tail that uh, that's in there, and so then I might talk about, you know, might figure out like how to blend some crocodile and some other weird mutations i don't know figure it out we'll figure it out uh and then uh after that you know we got to give him a little costume and i'm thinking like a little tunic kind of thing uh something like that maybe maybe like a little hat or something i don't know what do you think? a bunch of medallions who knows who knows we'll figure out something anyway we're continuing on with Mythos Part Four. It's nice, really yeah. The hands are yeah. I got to do some work on the hands today and uh, get those get some nails or something going on. Anyway, we'll figure. It out. So yeah, we're let's right. go, Bob. Let's go. All right. So as always, pull up some reference. Good reference. Good hand reference. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, I've got, got a three-fingered hand up here. So I've actually got two pure rep files open. One is just my like general anatomy. Uh, one that has all, everything anatomy related. And then this is like project related. And I found this uh, three-fingered person here. Great reference. So. 
We're going to use that as base, and uh, we're off and away. So, what I'm going to do is just cut everything in half, and then uh, work our arm. Let's turn everything off. Start kind of blocking it out. build up and then get rid of that other finger now it's gonna seem very large but it's gonna work and I like to add just a little bit of bed the slightest amount of bend in the knuckle. It just kind of helps find where the joint is. And you can always, you know, bend it back there. Black out a little space for the nail. I'll just kind of cut here using sculptress the whole time full sculptress mode that's a good knuckle reference and these fingers are not going to be like human fingers. But I start off sculpting human anyway. And then I kind of morph it. From there, you got to morph. <laughs> Morphing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I love, I love, I love creatures. It's just, uh, something I've foolishly followed my passion on and, uh, worked out for a little bit. Got to work on some cool stuff. Very, very excited for Godzilla. That one's going to be a good time. It'll be a good time. We're going to celebrate. I do need to do more hard surface work. Just to get more practiced at it. But I do enjoy organic sculpting quite a bit. Turn that on. Hello. There we go. He is always reference. Reference, reference. Keep looking. Be very observant, just in general. Like, you ever stare at your own hands and like really look at them? Came from hard surface work first, and then got into creatures. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like get into CG knowing I was like, oh, I'm going to be a creature guy. I just, I just really loved it. And when, and just kept chasing that. Um, I have done robots. I've done, I've, you know, I've worked on a few robots and, and robots in general just are harder for me because I, I think my brain just wants to make sense of it. 
and robots need to look like they they function to an extent. There's a lot of great hard surface tricks, so I will do a robot, but maybe because it's creature corner, maybe I smash some organic parts in there or something. Yeah, that's always fun. So I'm going to do this where I kind of like cut the finger off now. And then we'll make this like a hoof claw. And just don't forget to use your mask tool. Masking is super powerful. Squash and stretch it. gonna get it's gonna look like a nail it's gonna look like a nail trying to mesh it Just lots and lots of reference Always reference. Excellent. And then a uh, little trick is just to turn your reference and face it, face it in the direction you're sculpting. I, I find that just helps uh, my brain. It's, it's supposed to be kind of like a hoof, but more of a nail, I guess. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, we did. And then there's that little kind of line there from the the vein. Just use regular standard brush for that. Drag it down a little bit. Sculpt up, smooth down. Add a few wrinkles in there. Let's see. If you want to get rid of some of this clay marks, just hit clay polish once or twice. And I'll smooth Take it, it easy. Hey, 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 you're doing too much. What are you doing? The other thing is just have a good UI, you know, that you have customized and make it your own. Hello, Clay Chibi. Good evening to you. It's very rainy here. It is a rainy Southern California evening. Filling out some of the shape here. Oh, you're in Burbank. Yeah, you're getting hit too. Your legendary. <laughs> it's uh, it's been something. Hear about that poor woman who had a mudslide go into her house. Crazy. Crazy out there. Oh, 
this up. Get the skin around the nail is, is a little rougher, a little more broken. Carvey little carvey little finger finger marks in here. Perfect. Almost. Trying to get that. You never just want to do a straight line across. That that's what feels mechanical. If you can break it up a little bit. Here, curl up there. And there's this kind of like webbed skin in between, so I'll kind of hint on that on either side. Sometimes you have to work your way up a little bit. Yeah, that was weird. That was a weird track. Weird, like screeching. We're trying out new uh, uh, lo fi hip hop sounds or tracks to stream to, I suppose. My dad once said that usually near the lunar near year, it will be rainy here. Hmm. It's very specific. I mean, it was, it was, it gets super rainy this time of year anyway, but the past few years of rain have been like big downpours. And if you're not from LA, uh, LA people freak out when it rains, absolutely freak out. They just go nuts. All rules out the, out the window. Our, our news media loves it. They love it. Bob, we've got a puddle out here. It's a giant puddle. Take it back up again. To just stop raining here. Well, it was Florida, right? Like, Florida is probably always raining. Isn't it the, the, the adage is that if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes? Uh, on, uh, 
context i'm from indonesia so it's part of asia usually something related to crop perspective that makes sense looking to the cycle of the moon Let's go ahead and dynamesh everything. break it we're gonna find out huh? huh it's okay nice nice we did it we didn't crash the program good reminder to save kids it's not always raining per se and <laughs> it's not always raining Just add volume one place. It has to, it has to make sense all over.
this. Sometimes in order to see something, you have to like flip it around, flip it a different way. Now flip it. So for those of you just joining, hello, welcome, nice to see you. Don't be shy, ask questions. I'm here to share the milk with you. The milk of monsters. <laughs> I'm really just here to amuse myself, so don't mind me. We're just here to make some monsters. say we go for the ninja turtle and that's just two fingers much easier to do where's the fun in that? Thou mad, brother? Way too big. Way too much. Tricks here. Kind of set them off just a little bit. It will help them feel natural. He can't hit, he can't hit you. 
He can. See, at a low, low price point, he can hit. Same thing. Yeah, it's going through that ugly stage right now. And you just got to get through that. No matter what you're working on, you're going to go through that ugly stage. There's one thing that, uh, you know, I would tell myself as a younger artist, what I still tell to students today is, uh, <clears throat> it's all got an ugly stage. You gotta push past that ugly ass stage. Sterling, what's up? <laughs> what a time, my dame. How you doing, bud? We out here getting soaked. Still fiddling with his arm anatomy. It's much stronger. Plenty of work, good. Stay busy, my man. Keep it busy. Me, yeah, I'm a full size duck. That's where I'm at. Smooth clay buildup. Where'd that go? There we go. Clean buildup. That's what I was looking for. Butter. Delicious butter. Picked straight from the vine. Creature butter.
Maybe you're turned around. Oh, no, man. We, I tried to get it to Thursday. And, uh, and no one was like, well, we do a lot of industry events on Thursday. I was like, oh, you're right. That doesn't mean we're, we're not talking about it, but we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it. So, uh, uh, I feel thoroughly embarrassed that, uh, to be here on a Tuesday night, but it's okay. I was, I was hoping to get it Thursday. Well, we'll I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. It would still be the same show. It still just be, it would be me and that. More heft. The arms have to look heavy. Hello, Tatoon. Is it Tatoon? Tatoon. Uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm a uh, fly by the seat of my pants sometimes person, and that's not always good when you're trying to schedule things with me. I'm working on. Trying to find a nice, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'll have a, well, maybe I'll, I'll throw in some heads. Uh, throw in some heads in there. Be cool. He was carrying a bunch of heads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Friendship. Like, they're like little snacks that he keeps, uh, like snack packs. Be in a minute. Yeah, you know, being a minotaur. What was up with this second tail? I don't know why I had a second tail in there. I'm going to delete it. I don't care if I break it. Might, I might issue, I might get rid of the, the crocodile tail and then uh, trade like one arm for like a tiny like human baby arm kind of thing. Like if you had like a little like <laughs> dude's dude arm like that, is that funny? Is that just too funny or?
Yeah, just like a little tiny weapon there. Maybe. I'll have to do it. But... Arms are getting pretty close, so I might as well go ahead and merge everything. <laughs> Move! Move that boy! Uh, once the work is done, what do you suggest? What is the best app you suggest for Retopo? Um, I will do uh, the first pass in ZBrush, uh, just using ZBrusher, and um, I'll I'll kind of slice things up that way. Um, and then the rest for like cleanup, uh, it just depends on your app of choice. So, um, Blender is fine. Maya is fine. Um, you can even do a fair amount of retopo in ZBrush. Um, there's different methods inside of ZBrush for retopo. It's not, uh, it's not like one program is the best. Um, a lot of people like Quadra and Maya. For that reason, um, so yeah, for me, for me, I, I don't, I, I don't think it really matters. You know, if it works, it works. Um, I think there are some good plugins for Blender, um, and I'm gonna probably be coming up on uh, Retopo pretty soon, so I might just do it in Blender just to pick Blender up again and. Get more proficient. This is free, you know. Free, free soft. What? Yeah, it's free. It's like totally free. But there's probably some plugin or something that you gotta buy or. Yeah, they got some add-ons too, I think. Sterling, you retopo in Blender? They gotta do everything in Blender. My man. Will it be fair enough for industry standard? I wanna see a good D form for elbow, knee, eyelid. Um it's not quite standard yet. Um Maya is still the, uh, <laughs> I'm retapping right now. Uh, Maya is still the standard, um, for the, across, across the industry. Um, but you know, it's perfectly fine to model stuff in blender and then, uh, export it. But what are you retopoing in? What program are you in right now? Huh? Is there a oh topo gun? Yeah, topo gun is also very good. I have not um I've not used topo gun in a long time, but it looks really it looks really good. Yeah, Topo Gun. Yeah, they finally, finally dropped the, the latest version, Topo Gun 3, I think. Yeah, you're in Blender. Yeah. 
yeah, Topo Gun's pretty cool. I was using a uh, plugin for Maya called Seat Rail, which I liked for a little while. It was a little buggy, um, but it allowed you to basically kind of like draw across to create loops. Like you would, um, you would just kind of go like this and then it would just automatically set the loops across. Uh, good, good little plugin. Um, but the downside, it was a little buggy when I, when I worked with it. So that's what kept me from like really using it. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. <laughs> At the very least, the, the, the thing should work, right? Retopo flow. Oh, interesting. Is that is that in Blender? Is that one of the like in Blender plugins? It's an add-on. Top of floor. I might bug you about that tomorrow. So what if it's one of you is the monster? It's got to really spin your model around, spin it around. Spin and then spin it again. Yeah, man. Yeah, I've been uh, noodling on that thing again. It's been really nice. I'll, I'll have to pop into the office and say hello. Yeah, really, really excited. You guys are great, you know? You're so great. I love you guys. Friendship. Friendship. Look at this little guy with his hands. Maybe not the most exciting thing to cover, but like hands are important. You gotta gotta do you gotta sculpt your hands. Really deep cut there. Build up, smooth it down. What? 
What would I do? Which would you prefer to sculpt, feet or hands? Um, I think feet are actually easier. Because uh, most of the time you don't need to uh, you don't need to separate the toes. You can just sculpt it as like one kind of shape. Hands require a lot more complexity. And... I'd say I'm a, I'm a foot guy, but man, I guess I guess that's what happens. Hands are fun though. uh fingers and palm oh uh, yes they're on the same sub -tool. so i started started with them separate and then i will fuse i will fuse everything together so i uh i blend you know it's all in the same sub tool so i'll, I'll blend the sculpt together and then once i'm like really happy with everything i'll i'll go ahead and merge it all together but what's nice about this is i can work on it you know, and, and sculpt them individually this way. With that, uh, uh, that Metal Gear Solid alert, that woke me up. <laughs> that did it. Hey, that's pretty good. No, that's a good trick. That works. Snake. I'm trying to <laughs> But once you start to enjoy hand sculpting hands, it's it is it's really rewarding when you when you just feel a little bit more comfortable each time. This is hard. Good hands are hard. I have kept shrinking them over and over again. Arms are a little too strong looking now. Let's see. It's pretty good. I want to make the hands. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, why not? You know what? You got to move forward at some point, right? Go ahead and merge it together. You just gotta commit. It's not like we can't go back, but we wanna feel like we're moving forward. 
you got to keep moving forward. Forward momentum. All right, merge everything together. I'm not going to Dynamesh. I'm going to go to my gizmo, go to the gear, remesh by union. That's the sauce. Remesh by union. Waiting on uh, Joker 2 and Venom 3 this year. Were we getting Venom 3 this year? I had no idea. I just saw, we, we just watched uh, Venom 2 the other night. I, I had not seen it. Reference real quick. I mean, I like I liked both. Of them. I liked Venom and Venom Venom Two. Venom Two was silly. They're both silly, you know, but that's enjoyable. As Matt and I would say, it's a movie. Yeah, I mean it's it was a yeah, it was a good movie. I think Joker 2 is gonna be interesting for sure. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, uh, the first one was great, obviously, and um, Lady Gaga is in this next one. I'm sure she's gonna. I, I don't know what was the sad movie she was in. She was in a sad movie. Not the Fault in Our Stars. What was it? Bradley Cooper. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. It was a really a bummer. A Star is Born. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bummer. <laughs> that movie was a bummer. Um, great. It's a great movie, of course, and, and uh, very good. But, uh, yeah, total bummer. <sighs> Down. Yeah, Star is Born. So, I mean, like Lady Gaga, is, you know, she's a great actress. So I've, I'm excited to see what she does. It'll be nice to have a different portrayal of, um, of Harley Quinn outside of Margot Ro Robbie. Roby's, of course, is like the iconic kind of comic book performance. So I'm excited to see a serious kind of take on it. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's been in development for a while. I think there were various delays, too. I think the strikes delayed things a little bit, maybe. Yeah, Gladiator 2 uh, this year as well. I mean, I... I mean, I... I... I mean, I'll watch it. You know, sure. I mean, the first Gladiator is amazing, but like... It's been, what? 15, 20 years? Everything old is new again. Hooray. I don't I don't usually like to to march on the Hollywood's out of ideas bandwagon, but like guys. Tell the kids. 
It's weird. It's weird. Too much. Buy my movie. I got a good movie. Buy it. Buy my movie. I'm writing the script right now. I'm not writing it. I've, I've written it. But... Yeah. Uh, Damon Hansu. D oh, God, I'm not going to say his name right. Jamon Hansu. He's great in that movie. He's great in Gladiator. I mean, in that, that movie made Joaquin Phoenix, too. Awesome. Yeah, Joaquin Phoenix was on the, he was still a, an unknown unknown. And uh Gladiator too, like really broke him out. <sighs> yeah. Uh yeah, there's just so much like sequelitis and stuff. Um like I I think there was there's the picture of the the schedule for this year, the movie schedule, I mean, it's just like sequel, 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 sequel. Yeah, whatever Jordan Peele does, man, uh, everybody, everybody's down for that. Yes, please. I still think about Nope. Nope is like still, it's, it's hard to be get out and I, I didn't love us um i liked us but it's it's not i don't know it still bugs me but nope is just brilliant nope is my favorite nope nope <laughs> there's also that one uh that he produced the uh, monkey man i think that's coming out yeah, nope is so good nope just feels like uh the kind of movie they don't they don't make anymore, you know? Yeah, 22, uh, Nope was, I, I think so. I also liked uh, <clears throat> Everything Everywhere All at Once, but I, I just felt like Nope was um, so tight, very concise. Most impressive. Yeah. Monkey Man, so you, yeah, uh, that, that'll be interesting. For sure. I felt a strange sensation. Waiting to receive light. Who in their right mind would leave a man? Wow, 12 years. Uh, James is saying he held on to the script for note for 12 years. Wow. You know, I, I've, I've written a few scripts and. Um, uh, not like a lot, uh, but I've written a couple, and um, it is. It, I can see why you would hold on to it for a while. Like, it takes time, and you you gotta like go back to it, and um, go back. You know, when you have a little distance, and then you go back to it, and you kind of punch it up here and there, and you take stuff out, you put stuff in. So I can see why. Why you would want to hold on to it for a while script script writing in general is a, is a much different format yeah um it, it's it's just a different format to write in and um and then that you know that's the other thing is things don't happen on your timeline you know he was doing comedy for forever and who knew he was doing, you know, writing brilliant horror scripts. So I'm sure he's probably got a lot in his back pocket. It, it is interesting watching uh, watching Jordan Peele go from like the Hinkle McCrinkle guy, <laughs> you know, to to like horror auteur. If, if you just if you didn't know he was into that stuff. I love listening to him. <clears throat> yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, sitting on a script for twelve years. I have a lot of projects that I've developed over the years. A few that I've 
you know, pitched uh, around. And uh, it is hard. I mean, you just got to keep pounding that pavement. Helps when you have something like Key and Peel to like spin off of and be like, well, actually, I've got a horror movie. Yeah, Del Toro has a Frankenstein movie in the works, and that'll be cool. And, you know, anything Del Toro does. And I was actually just watching Nightmare Alley again. Today, actually. Um, I still feel like we slept on that movie. I still feel like it deserves another shot. Kind of a chunky uh, Minotaur. Very different than from my initial sketches. Never saw the original Nightmare Alley. Yeah, Cabinet of Curiosities was fun. We need more uh, more horror anthologies in general. Is my opinion. Just my own opinion there. neck water a little bit. Yeah. Still need to do a little bit more work on the hooves. I've got the hands in there, the bodies merged together. Just a little bit more hues. Now video game movies are taking the stage. Last of Us show adaptation was great. Had it on my mind for a lot for some reason. Yeah, I mean, uh, video game movies are finally getting their shot. <laughs> you know, Sonic's on its third, you know, gonna be on its third movie. Super Mario was a hit product uh movies like barbie godzilla x kong is a big toy movie um oh for storyboarding what do you prefer um i mean besides photoshop i like krita which is free that's a good program um but other than that not much i I don't know. Um, I don't do enough storyboarding to know like what the what the in program is. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I have to ask Fred about that. Well, hello. Hey, welcome back. Bad day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, still keeping the uh, second face in there. Smashing that in. Working with symmetry and then slowly we'll, you know, we'll break out of it. Look at that. Look at that weird hunch over. It's fun. Can I get that? Hooves, right. Hooves are hard. Full hoof. 
Bullhoob. I feel like I Googled this last time. What's their deal? Why are they like that? What's going on? Straight, straight line. Creed has a specific storyboarding workspace. That's cool. Yeah, the more I, I work in Creed, the more I love it. Um, I just wish they would fix their text tools. That's like the big thing for me. But that's like such a minimal complaint because the program is great. But if you're going to use any kind of text, you you have to use Photoshop. Your position, I would say yes. Damn. How did you generate the merged head idea? Um, I was thinking about um, two-headed cows at the time. Help us back. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about two-headed cows in that poem, or that I think it was like a meme comic about the two-headed cow gazing at the stars and that made me a little sad and made me think about uh the minotaur is kind of like a sad creature gotta be kind of lonely in that labyrinth yeah it's kind of sad <laughs> clean or cut them in real life they just run fast enough to erase the bottom yeah uh uh it's uh it's great i, I really like it there's a lot of um tools out there like brushes and stuff that that feel like natural media there are some other programs that that have similar um i want to say like paint pro or something or not clip studio pro but um, some other programs that have similar kind of features. Like right here. But it, uh, you know, for a free program, really nice. It's like a good lazy mouse kind of feature for brushes. It's awesome. More hooves. This is a little better. I feel a little stronger. Do want the split hoof though? Do want that? Split that hoof. Come on, you can do it. You can do it.
to watch Total Recall again. For like the 1,000th time. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When in doubt, separate it. Just work at it on its own separate element. A lot of students, beginner sculptors, they don't realize that you can do this. Yeah, I love Krita. I, I spent a lot of time in that program. If I'm if I'm like definitely just drawing Krita for sure. Feels a little stronger. Scrubbing on the knee. Good starting point. Finish up the face a little bit more. I'll do that bulging eye. It's like the eye is being squeezed out of the socket. Is there any plan for Noman to take my animation classes to take online? I don't believe so. I believe Noman is mostly in person. But there is the, the workshop, the Noman workshop, and those courses are all workshop courses, so you don't get you don't get the the teacher but you do get all the knowledge you get their course yeah Houdini is great everybody's everybody loves Houdini not me it's confusing but it's very confusing Anything node based, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> yeah, great magician. Houdini was cut, dude. You ever seen him? Harry Houdini, dude was ripped. There's a shot of him, yeah, yeah, right here. Let's see if I can find a better photo of it. Dude did not skip leg day. Where is it? There you go. Well, I swear this photo was high res when I opened it up. There you go. 
Look at that dude. Look at the legs. Dude's cut. Dude was red. Crazy man. Yeah, you were, yeah. Now he got out of all those uh, traps. Cool rep. Look how far the brow comes out. Yeah, man. Dude's Brit. Dude's Brit. Cranking up the resolution on this. They're kind of colliding together. This part is going to be interesting to resolve. Crank up the resolution on this as well. Eight. For now, I'm going to keep them separate objects and just work on them individually. What if they have one mouth or some sort of scar? Yeah, we could probably like lead it. Lead it to the nose or something like that. Oh, that's nice. Do we have any Venom quotes? <laughs> Arthur. the nose here pull that nose out a little bit more
Yeah, yeah. Small faces is, is uh, angry. It's definitely the cursed, you know, the cursed part of them. It's all it's all gonna come through that eye too. All happens in the eyes. Oh yeah, man. Uh, Matt is uh, Matt's computer went. Uh, <laughs> You got blue screened. We'll be back at some point. He's, he's, he's like, dude, my computer just died. I think he's actually enjoying the time uh, without a computer. You know how it goes, like when your your computer dies and you're like, "Oh, I know, poor guy." He really wants to do some uh, Killer Instinct fan art. So when we get back, when he gets back, we'll do some Killer Instinct fan art. No. We'll do something cool. Plus, we got like Monster Palooza in a couple months, too. We gotta figure out what we're doing for that. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we decided that we're not gonna, uh, absolutely, uh, kill ourselves over this one, though. But we might make something new for it. We gotta do something. Take it easy. Eh, uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, we did a lot last year. It was a learning lesson. I still got a lot of... Still got a lot of shit from last year, too. But I gotta reorder some stickers, cards, you know, all that stuff. Last year was nuts. Last year was crazy. We did get ourselves a slightly bigger booth this year. We're in a different room, though, and we're not facing the snacks this time, so that's a bummer. We were really hoping that we would be uh, facing the snacks. Oh, flakes brush. Some more of that lip in there.
Play polish on that. Let's get in there. Let's make a cool print. Anyway, just the head by itself. Pretty cool. Wow, I actually want to print something again. That's that's fun. That's a good feeling. I have not after last year I did not want to 3D print anything. Yes, welcome, welcome over to the criticide. What's great is that it's free. It's literally free. You cannot beat that. You are welcome. <laughs> It's, uh, uh, you know, um, it's got its quirks, but every program does. Right here. Get a little more depth in there. Let's get all this stuff. It really has to look like all these forms are just colliding against each other. Mutant shit. Mutant shit. profile of the jaw. Okay, uh, uh, okay, so Jacob, um, is it possible to take Geo from an IMM brush and append it? Or can you only draw it onto the Geo in the scene like, uh, like a brush? Well, there's a trick to that. And basically, uh, yes, you can append it. Um, but let me show you both ways to do it. So one way is to just like grab um, a basic object. And if you bring up your your gizmo, you can scrub through the object. Right, so you're scrubbing through the object and you can append it that way. Um, so yeah, here's an example is uh, like the button. Right. As long as your is your gizmo is active, you can scrub this way, and then append whatever you need that way. So that's one way. The other way is that if you want to do it like on your surface, like if I grab this eye here and I draw on another object, right, and I split that off, and then I can scrub through it this way. So that's if you want to get it closer to the surface. So that that is uh, that's the method. So the the 
<laughs> the the gizmo, the gizmo. And then uh, Tatoon, um, you know, like if it works for you and it works, then then uh, you know, it works. It works for you. Yeah, right. Yeah, now you know. Now you know. You know. You have the power now. You have the power. That's it. Hey, yeah, 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 Build up, smooth down. You know what? I think I'm ready to just go ahead and merge them together. I'm going to do it. I'm feeling brave. Maybe not that brave. Not yet. Not yet. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I was feeling brave. I was I was almost excited. At some point you have to be decisive. You have to say I'm gonna do it. Almost ready. I was almost there. But I'm glad I decided not to. You know what I can do? I can merge them, but I don't have to weld it. Yeah. See, I think that's the way to go about it. Because then, cause then I can just sculpt it and be like, ah, okay, here we go. See, like, this stuff needs... I just need a little. I'm sorry. You should be dead. But he's leaving. <laughs> yeah. You're also working on a bowl. You'll have to share it. Share your bowl. Share a bowl. You're watching Spider Man, the animated series from '94. Yeah, I would go. I would come home from school and watch that. That's how old I am. And then you can just blend together. I'm going to do some pulled skin here. Looks like the skin is getting pulled, so standard brush. Outstanding. Kinda... Pull from the surface there, right? Melding together. I can't click that link. Not in the not in the stream app. Not in the,
Thank you, James. I'm gonna take a look at that. Oh, sick, yo, cool. Look at that. That's what uh, uh, ducking. What do I say, Duckingham? Duck Kingdom? I. Duck Kingdom. Yeah, this is sick, dude. Great start. Look at that. Look at that face. That's angry. That's an angry. Ducking M. Ducking. That's an angry face. I like it. How did you merge? Uh, I Goldie. Um, I just I just merged down in uh, in the sub tools. So they're they're not welded together or anything. They're, I just merged the tools. Together. And then um, as you as you sculpt the tool, the the sculpt will kind of blend together like this. You can kind of you can blend over those seams. So it's a nice uh, quick quick solution. So I'll kind of uh, blend here, Just blend around the seams, and then you wouldn't even know that it's a separate object. And then when I'm ready, I feel good. Then I'll I'll weld everything together. Dude, uh, we didn't we didn't know we didn't know how good we had it. We had Spider Man, we had Batman the Animated Series. Batman Beyond, which is my favorite. Gargoyles. We were lucky. We really had it good. We did way too much. We did. We went too far. We can't take it back now. Like if you had told, told me then we would have had a 10-year MCU reign of power. The DC could not get its shit together. I would have been like, what? Bomb has been planted. <laughs> so weird. Such a weird, weird thing. But now it all looks like it's uh, kind of blended together. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, that's pretty good. I got to pretty much everything I wanted to. Yeah, we had it good, man. The golden age. And then one thing we, I, I just don't think people appreciated was just how balls to the wall crazy the 80s were, the 80s, 90s were, especially early 90s, as far as like pushing really crazy properties. There were so many, like, so many shows and properties that were like, Bonkers. I mean, it was like you had uh, and toys, so many like crazy toy schemes and stuff like that. One of my favorites was Battle Beasts. Battle Beasts was the shoe. Extend the peak out a little bit. King Arthur and the Knights of whatever it was. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what was it? It was King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. That was it. That was the name of the show. Anyone remember that show? Oh, uh, it was... Um, And the Knights of Justice, that was what that's what it was. Oh yeah. Do you remember this cartoon? It was rad. They were a bunch of uh, football players, like a modern football team. They got transported back in time. And they became like the the knights of the knights of the round. And they had like Yeah. <laughs> And they had a bunch of like cool powers and shit. Merlin was there doing his Merlin thing. Ah, so good. Yeah, pretty close. I don't know what I'm going to do with this crocodile tail. Oh yeah, Grit is the bomb. Just wait, just wait. You'll you'll start diving in, and um, what you want to look up are the RGB brushes. I'll just open it real quick, and I'll show you. Um, it's great. So I've got these. Uh, they're, they're RGBA brushes in Krita. Um see yeah like they actually yeah you can kind of see how the the paint smears on them look at that it, it's it's like a smudge brush and the the more pressure you put onto it the more paint you add but if you're if you're light with it you'll blend so it acts almost like like real paint. And so Oh, that's nice. It's great, man. I I love it. Look how look how beautiful that is. Just like fine haired brushes, um some good like palette knives. Look at that. It, like it looks like buttery, you know? And those are the RGBA brushes. So RGBA. And if you look up RGBA brushes just on the Googles, <laughs> yeah, fuzzy hair. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, look for some RGBA brushes. That that's how I found these. These like palette knives and stuff. But they're they're beautiful. And it's just like painting with real thick materials it's awesome definitely recommend nice nice i don't know i've never seen a minotaur with a crocodile tail does that does that even make sense 
I don't know. I might dump it. Almost feels Egyptian. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that is weird. I guess if I'm going for like pure Greek, then probably not a good idea. But am I going that way? I don't know. I have to make a decision. It would be good to do an Egyptian god. I haven't done uh, any gods of Egypt. Which is a movie I worked on. <laughs> Gods of Egypt. <laughs> yeah, right. That's that's a that is a movie that is purely of its era. I mean, it was a blast to work on. We had a great time. They had. Um, let me see if I can find it. But man, they had a. They had billboards up all over Hollywood. It was awesome. Watch Jared look through his folder. That was a weird track. Weird track, baby. Weird track. There it is. Yeah, I would go. I was. I would drive around Hollywood and like stop and pull over just to take pictures of the billboards and stuff. I'll do the same thing when uh, Godzilla X Kong comes out. You got to keep a little record of these things and um, remind yourself that, like, oh shit, this really happened. Yeah, those are rad. Those are great. Great experience and uh, what a yeah you gotta celebrate what a what a high you know you chase that high teaching yourself Mari that's good ooh Alec uh, a double tail too much double stuff maybe I think uh, I think one way that I'll be able to break this up is. Um, you know, definitely texturally, you know, like maybe I'll add some, um, you know, some spikes over here and like rough skin, you know, along this arm, maybe this arm doesn't have that, you know, just ways to introduce some like asymmetry in there. I could, I could do a hand that's more human or, you know, that's kind of like fused together and it's got like weird, weird fusion in there. That, that could be another way just to break up the symmetry of the hand. If he has a crock going back up his spine, it could lead all the way to the hunch and blood. Ah, yeah, crocodile. Yeah, that is that. It was my th original thought. Was that um, is that I carry the crocodile up the back? But what you're making me think of, Sterling, is what if there's like an actual crocodile merged? into his back as well kind of like that that would be the other um kind of thing i don't know no crock head just the spine maybe yeah like it like it the the spikes kind of go up all the way and the, the scaling can kind of blend blend out you know into the bleed out into into the body asymmetrically i i gotta i gotta meditate on it you know i gotta think about it uh ducking m do you have any advice for people that just finished 
Art University personally two weeks ago. Congrats um, on what to focus mainly or in order to get a job working in some three studio. Um, well, it's it's no it's no secret right now that um, it's a little it's a little tough out there um, in the industry, especially for juniors trying to get into the industry. Um, so it is a very crowded field right now. Games just had a lot of layoffs and VFX has been out of work um, for about a year. That will probably continue through this year as well. Um, it's, it's a hard, you know, it's a hard pill to swallow um, that times are a little difficult. What I would suggest focusing on um, is just for your portfolio to get in work in a 3d studio is show you know you got to show off your model show off the sculpt um show off your textures but but show your topology like show the top the topo pass um show your udim breakdown if you have udims or if you're going towards games show show the show the work behind it and just show that you are doing that um, the other thing I would say is um, character art is very crowded as well. There's a lot of great character artists out there. They're all competing for these jobs. There's not enough to go around at the moment. Um, so I would focus specifically on environment art, you know, leaning on Unreal, um, going going that way. Um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it's weird times right now. It's just that's just where we're at. Um, what the future will bring? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what what stuff's gonna look like um, in a year from now. But uh, your art fundamentals, those things that you've learned in your art school, those will separate you from others who do not have said art education. So, um, hang in there, keep working on your portfolio, keep doing it, um, keep yourself busy, keep yourself task oriented, really try to meet some daily goals, set, set goals for yourself, weekly goals, monthly goals, like, okay, at the end of the week, I'm going to have a good sculpt at the end of two weeks, I'm going to have the topo done at the end of three weeks, I'm going to have the topo and UVs, you know, all that stuff. Um, if you can keep yourself accountable, um, that's, that's the way to do it. Um, as far as like applying to jobs, set job alerts, um, like go to, go to various websites, set, set notifications to on, um, get those job alerts, be the first to apply, jump on those job listings right away. Um, statistically people who um apply earlier have a better shot um than when you're like 300 you know things deep um, i would also aim towards indie studios not maybe don't aim at like your microsoft's or your you know your sony's or whatever it is like look for small studios uh indie independent studios that are that are building up that need people um, and then just have like a good wide skill set, you know, of, of stuff. Um, so you're you're more valuable. The more useful you are, uh, the more things you can do, the the better, you know, the better your chances are. So just uh, just keep plugging away at it. And, uh, with that, uh, I think uh, I think I'm ready to call it for tonight. Yeah, I uh, I think Indy is a good way to go um and uh you know that's that's where i'm at oh my pleasure uh happy to happy to help and um keep keep in touch let me know how it goes you know um when we're all when one of us is doing well we're all doing well you know we we got to support each other lift each other up you know, in these times. 
So uh, uh, keep keep at it and get, you know just keep creating, keep creating, keep flexing the muscle. Um, so uh, uh, with that, you know, I, I made it. I think pretty good, you know, pretty far. I think I ticked off um, everything that I wanted to do today or tonight, and that was you know well the get the hands welded in. I'll still I'll still break up the symmetry and uh, work on that. I uh, worked on the hooves, worked on the face today. Um, so yeah, I feel feel like I got a little bit done, and uh, we'll just keep pressing forward on that. So thank you guys, thank you all tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me. Please, uh, if you enjoy this stream, share it with your friends. Uh, that that's always really helpful. Recommend it uh, to other people who like uh, watching this stuff hopefully we'll get matt back in here soon and uh and uh, we'll be uh with him otherwise uh thank you to Noman school of visual effects thank you our sponsor dell thank you to james for running the show if you enjoy all the sound and sound effects that's james he's the man and uh i will uh if you want to contact me is at monster mash 042 at jared krashevsky uh, I, I should add a blue sky in there because now blue sky is open social media for everybody. But just look for the Jared Krzyzewski and you'll find me where it works. But uh, come say hi and uh, we'll be looking forward to cool things in the future. So good night, y'all. See you.